Okay, well, my name is Greg Brown. Uh, my day job is I write aviation adventure stories, and I've always done photography since I was about 12 years old. And I've ended up being a photographer who shoots from the air. In 2013, I had three one-man photography exhibitions, one at NAU in the College of Arts and Letters, one at the uh, Radisson Hotel here in Flagstaff, and now I've got an ongoing show that continues at Charlotte Hall Museum in Prescott. My name is Anna Kara Dixon, and I'm a musician. Um, I play harp and guitar, and I um, sing and write songs. And um, I play kind of orchestral style music all the way to bluegrass, so it's a big variety. So I do, I play as a solo act. Um, I also play as a duo with Brad Bays. Um, and I also play with a trio and a full band uh, called Anim Kara and the Boys. And that's with Brad Bays, Tim Hogan, and Ron James. And then also recently I've been playing with Tristan Scroggins, who's a really fabulous young musician from Colorado. I love to play music because I'm really young and you know I'm not exactly sure who I am, but when I play music, I feel really complete. And so, and that's really special because it's something that can kind of last a lifetime, you know, it's not just in that moment. So I'm really thankful for that. My favorite live performance from 2013 was playing at Pickin' in the Pines Bluegrass Festival on the main stage. It was really fun. <laughs> My name is Ben Jordan. Um, I'm from Kingman, Arizona. Graduated from NAU with a ceramics degree about two semesters ago, and I mainly do sculptural, ceramic, and metal work. The body of work I've been making lately is just, it's, it's a lot about social topics, social issues, contemporary social issues for the most part. Uh, one of the pieces I had in Elemental was called Leap of Faith. That was a bronze piece, and it's like a human torso with buffalo. It was a buffalo jump, like a buffalo run. The buffalo were running off the edge of the cliff and uh, obviously dying. <laughs> so that's kind of a commentary on social issues, kind of like a herd mentality, like the pack mentality of just kind of following the person in front of you, not thinking for yourself, and uh, it's kind of a, yeah, kind of a, a mirror of our society today. And so, um, but really, it's just the most satisfying thing I've found in my life to do. Uh, my name is Maria DeCosla. I went on the NAU Main Pat Interdisciplinary Project in December 2012. We had a photojournalism group go with us where we um, reported on the lives of Tibetan refugees in Maine Pat, India. The people I went with um, was Kent Wagner, the videographer, Sean Ryan, a photojournalist, Laura Camden, a professor of photojournalism, and myself, um, I did the writing. After coming back, we realized that we got so much out of going to visit these Tibetan refugees. We learned about a new culture. We spent Christmas actually helping people, which felt really great to do. We came back with amazing lessons as journalists about um, language barriers and writing under pressure and videoing people who have never even seen cameras before. Like, we learned a ton about this new culture, and we also learned um, that some people aren't necessarily in poverty, they live simplistic lifestyles. And what we ended up with were two videos, um, a photo gallery, a book, and an overall presentation. Uh, my name is Michelle Ralston, and I perform at Theatricos and in musical productions in the city of Flagstaff. I started in January with Amal and the Night Visitors. I played the role of a peasant woman in the choir. Uh, my next role was in the spring. In May, I uh, was in a Theatricos production, uh, Few Good Men. I portrayed Judge Julia Randolph. In September, I was in Oliver. 
and had multiple roles um, in that production, and then ended the year with It's a Wonderful Life, and I played the part of Mother Bailey. Being on stage is one of the most natural things in the world for me.